The Toronto Dominion Centre is comprised of six office towers. There's uh, over four and a half, about four and a half million square feet of office space and about 250,000 uh, square feet of retail space. At the time the towers were designed, the original two towers, they became the highest towers in Canada. The original two buildings, 66 Wellington and 77 King, were designed by Mies van der Rohe. He was a modernist master architect, so these buildings have great architectural and design heritage behind them. In 2003, the Toronto Dominion Centre was given the heritage designation. In 2009, we had 17 floors of space coming back to us. Cadillac Fairview embarked on the revitalization scope because they realized these assets are aging. There's quite a bit of competition coming onto the market and they had to come up with a, a plan of how to stay current and competitive. There have been many certifications that these buildings have been able to accomplish, lead well. So it's something, you know, if you have a good foundation, it's something that we can work with. So when I was hired by Cadillac Fairview seven years ago, I came in as the energy manager for Toronto Dominion Centre. We were focused on trying to make sure that all of our projects from a sustainability perspective improved not only the assets in our building, but also the well-being of our tenants. N-Wave operates Toronto's district energy system. So at TD Centre, we're connected to their Deep Lake water cooling system for cooling our buildings, but we're also connected to their steam system for four of the six towers at the complex. So N-Wave has a pipe that goes out into the bottom of the Lake Ontario, and it brings cold water in from the lake and then that water gets sent to complexes like TD Centre, and we use that water to cool our buildings. Our base building of fluorescent lighting was end of life, and we knew we wanted to replace the fluorescent tubes with something more energy efficient. LED was the obvious choice, but we needed to do a thorough review to make sure that it would be compatible with our ballasts, which were not end of life. So through that review, we found a bulb that was compatible with most of our ballasts. We did have to replace some of them, but by doing that, it ensured that our, our business case and our return on investment was optimized. And then we were able to install the LED ballast, which really reduced energy consumption at the property. And it also reduced demand on the, um, on the facility, which saved all of our tenants money through their operating costs. The other scope of work that we did was the reglazing of the towers. If you have 17 empty floors in a tower, it's super easy to reglaze those floors. But the rest of the tower was occupied and 66 Wellington was basically fully occupied. So PCL really had to come up with this puzzle of how do you get the windows out and then in and keep people working at their desks. Prior to removing the window unit, we would prep the office by taking photos to preserve the office contents. Then our movers would come in, pack the office, take all furniture content out, and then we would continue with the window replacement. Once the window was finally done, we would reference our photos, have the movers, put the furniture back in place so that the tenant wouldn't know we were there at all that night. The next scope of work was the repainting of the towers. Our painting program started from the top of the building down. We had an evening shift that would remove all sealants and get ready for the next day's work. Next day's work started with a hand surface prep using grinders and scrapers. Once that was done, we would do a visual inspection, alcohol wipe the surface area and apply a spot primer to heavily corroded areas. So once the area was alcohol wipe and spot prime, we would mix our two-part epoxy primer that had a three-hour pot life get to our surface area and apply that coating. So it's a fluoropolymer system by PPG. I think the warranty is 20 years, but we're hoping to get 40 years because the next time we paint the buildings, it has to go back to bare metal. Toronto Dominion Centre is, is a great place to work. There's six towers. We have over 20,000 occupants in the towers. It's bigger than some towns. You know, we have a great space. We have a great exterior space. We have lots of amenities for the people who are here. And it's a great community.